A Tyson poultry plant in Virginia just announcing 250 employees have now tested positive for coronavirus. It's just the latest case of plant outbreaks, many of which, of course, have forced plants to close temporarily. All of that has had a major impact on the prices you're seeing at the store and at barbecue restaurants, as CNN's Diane Gallagher reports. It's a tradition. This pit's been here since 1961. An art form, really. Texas-style pit-smoked barbecue. Brisket is king at pits from Colorado. Just hardwood smoked pit barbecue. To Georgia. We're known for our black Angus beef brisket. Where people drive from hours away just to get a taste of what Wade McSwain's been serving up for a dozen years now at Pit Boss, just outside of Atlanta. It's tender, juicy, sliced, got a nice smoke ring on it. Ooh, it's you're beautiful. You're making me hungry. Yeah, well, that's my job, you know. <laughs> but since the coronavirus outbreak began, it hasn't been easy. You're struggling to pay your bills, and then, and then finally on April 3rd, we shut down for 10 days. Around that same time, thousands of meatpacking plant employees who had been working shoulder to shoulder in grueling conditions started getting sick at alarming rates. At least 30 meat plant workers have died. More than 10,000 have tested positive for or been exposed to COVID-19, according to the country's top union. Dozens of plants shut down, creating a backlog in making certain cuts of meat, like brisket, harder to find everywhere. There's only two of them per animal, and so when fewer animals are able to go through the packing plant, we get fewer briskets. At higher prices. The price of brisket is now is just really skyrocketed. It doubled from last week. According to Department of Agriculture data, the wholesale price of select brisket is up 81 percent from what it was this time last year with much of that increase coming in just the past few weeks. The margins for barbecue restaurants are already very slim with food costs. Uh, you know, you get in a brisket that's 12, 12 pounds, you end up trimming a pound to two pounds of fat off of that brisket. And then from when the time you start smoking it to the end, uh, you lose another four or five pounds. AJ's Pit Barbecue in Denver never stops slicing up brisket for takeout. Without our briskets and our pastrami's, we can't, can't do it. But as the state thinks about reopening restaurants, the smoky numbers on AJ's menus are changing. The timing couldn't be worse. And we were trying to hold off as long as possible for, for to not raise our prices because, I mean, that it's, it sucks for everyone. Economists warn the higher wholesale prices and tough-to-find cuts will likely last at least through June. There's not much relief there. However, I will say that we are starting to see that log jam at packing plants loosen. We're starting to see some more supplies. I think there is some hope out there. Wade says he's going to keep smoking whatever cut of meat he can afford. He doesn't think his customers, many of whom are struggling themselves now, can handle a price hike in the middle of a global crisis. We want them to know that we're still open, we're still here, and we're going to be here.